up YouTube. Um, so I've been having some issues. I recorded the video for episode 2 of the Lombards campaign. And what happened was, I guess I forgot to um, just change something in my settings. And apparently I didn't record, you know, whatever I was saying. Um, then what I did was I went back, recorded, um, I guess like a post commentary, post post uh, episode commentary, and then, well, here I am again, because that didn't save for some reason. Anyhow, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to condense the episode, I'm going to increase the speed, it will be shorter much shorter, and um, the way I can just get this episode out, I mean, I'll give you guys a little uh, background what happens, the Pope asks for a port of mine, I tell him no, he can go pretty much, uh, you know, play in his little, whatever, I mean, not the real Pope, but anyways, I, I refuse to give up a, a port city, he goes to the French, uh, the Franks, pressure me into giving that up, I say no, and they declare we offer you honest welcome. Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will drink to see uh, they declare war on me. With that being welcome said, I am at war with the, the Franks and the Avars. I've taken some, I believe I've taken some territory from the Avars, but I'm kicking the Avars rear ends. The I haven't, I don't, I don't think the Franks attacked me yet. But I'm getting ready, because I know they're going to be pulling up an army sooner or later. So that's that. Um, see, I can't even recall what I even talked about in both of the uh, both of the the game when I was playing it and the uh, what do you call it? The post episode recording. But I'm pretty sure I talked about something fairly important. So what I'm going to do is, besides uh, making a fool of myself, I'm going to give you guys a quick background on the Lombards. So, if you guys uh, played Attila, obviously some of you have, some of you haven't, the Lombards, also known as Longobards, the little blue bearded faction peeps, you know, in the Attila campaign. So the Lombards, um, they were a Germanic people who ruled Italy from 568 to 774 AD. Um, they're probably, uh, who, who were they part of? They were, I think they were part of, a. In the first century AD, I think they were part of the Suebi uh, in northwestern Germany, but supposedly they came from the uh, a small tribe called uh, Vinil, Vinili or something like that, I don't know, who dwelt in uh, su southern Scandinavia. Anyhow, um, so... So, okay, um, what, that's that, I'm not going to go into like too early of a history, but I'm just going to give like a quick, um, what do you call it, um, just like a quick rundown, so the Lombards came to Italy, um, after the uh, Italy has been devastated pretty much by by the Gothic War uh, between 535 and 554 uh, AD, which was um, between uh, the Byzantine Empire and the Ostrogothic Kingdom, um, Lombards were joined by Saxon, Harolds, Jepids, Bulgars, Thuringians, and Ostrogoths. Uh, when they invaded Italy. What else? Uh, 
So by 569, they conquered all of northern Italy. Obviously, you guys can tell I'm pretty much uh, browsing the history thing of them right now. So I'm like, I haven't had this prepared. I just literally, as I start recording, I just got this great idea. And why not? Why not talk about history? I don't know much of the uh, Lombard history, so I might as well just say something. Anyways, continue that. Uh, they conquered uh, majority of uh, or all of northern Italy. Um, except uh, Pavia, which they conquered, I believe. Uh, so, so they they conquered majority of northern Italy by 569. They conquered Pavia, the city. I think that's the port city they the Pope wanted back for me. Anyhow, they conquered that in 572. They occupied certain areas in central Italy and southern Italy. Um, they established the Lombard, Lombard Kingdom in northern, northern and central uh, central Italy, which later was known as Kingdom of Italy. However, the kingdom was conquered by the Frankish King Charlemagne. Dun 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 and integrated into his empire. However, Lombard nobles continued to rule southern parts of the Italian peninsula. Uh, through the Duchy of Benevento until I think it was like what that says here, until the 11th century when they were conquered by the Normans. Which they added to County of Sicily. But um, the the region and of northern Italy is still uh, known as Lombardy, which means you know their legacy prevailed to an extent. And I'm sure in northern Italy has some uh, Germanic genes flowing around here and there, here and there. Obviously. Uh, what else can I say? I mean, that's that's a quick. What do you call it? That's a quick uh, overview of it. So with that being said, I am at war with the French because of Pavia. Because, you know, the Pope wanted Pavia back. I told him no. Because that was like one of my major... I mean, it was my a port city. It was a major town. It was like, you know, the, the capital of the region so of course I'm not gonna give that back I mean we are playing total war we change history so the French invade and that's about it what else can I tell you guys I think that's about it well I do apologize I'm still messing around with the sound I cannot get it to where both the game sound and the recording are balanced. Maybe I should record them into separate tracks. The way, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyhow, eventually I'll get the the whole entire sound issue figured out. But uh, please do enjoy the rest of the episode. Like I said again, I apologize for this. Um, uh, for this condensed episode and the fact that I'm, you know, I'm not going to really commentate the majority of it, but um, next episode of Lombard's campaign is coming out and uh, you guys already probably hopefully saw the Slavic Factions campaign where I play the Venetians, which should have been posted prior to this video. Um, I'm in the process of doing that as we speak. So, um, well, as I speak, duh, it's late. Anyways, until next time, I guess uh, I'll see you then. Next episode is going to be interesting. I'm thinking of either deciding of going on a full scale attack and just reconquering all of Italy. But then again, I'm at war with the Franks. I'm at war with the Avars. 
but I just just want to get it over with. Just want to take over the whole entire Italian peninsula. The little boot. To include Sicily at, at a later time. Anyhow, until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Ready for orders. How can I assist you? Can I assist you further? As you command. That's all.
We cannot follow this order. Ready for battle. Hear us, Lord! We will go to Warden. Prepare your souls. You go to meet your ancestors. To victory! Make haste, men. We hunger for battle. Destroy them!
enemy units have been rallied. That's your service. Oh, do that straight. Commander, put the line as swift as the angels. Your command. Set up the watch. We need good fighters. It is a great and glorious thing to serve your people. We need good fighters. Come, fight with us. Are you ready to serve? Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Soldiering, it's a good life. It is a great and glorious thing to serve your people.
my people wish to offer you this. At your command. Ready for battle. I am yours to command. I shall rest a while. Commander, we take this settlement! Ready for battle! Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. We need good fighters. Soldiering takes a good life. It is a great and glorious thing to serve your people. Ready 
Come on.